What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Tesla DMV. Alright, so in this video we're going to talk about navigate on autopilot and whether or not you should buy Tesla's full self-driving package. Alright, so you're looking at ordering a car or you just ordered one and you still have the time to, um, or you just got one and you want to add either the enhanced autopilot or you want to add full self-driving and you're not sure what you're going to get. I think the biggest question you should ask yourself is what does your daily drive look like? Alright, so this is important. If you think this is what your, if you drive to work and your commute looks like this every day, um, you got to understand. In one mile, take the Interstate 270 Spur South exit on the right toward Interstate 495 South, Washington. You got to understand that different softwares work on different types of roads. So if you're driving on highway, navigate on autopilot automatically gets enabled even if you paid fifteen thousand dollars for full self-driving when you get on the highway you get the same thing that you pay six thousand dollars for so if your commute is primarily on the highway then you might not need to get full self-driving so keep that in mind that you know everything comes out the box with enhanced autopilot and full self-driving is sort of like a earned thing now I don't know when you're watching this video, but I'm making it in October 2022. Now take the Interstate 270 Spur South exit on the right. Things could change, like according to Elon, um, that, you know, towards the end of this year, Q4, December, that we may be looking to expanding FSD beta to everyone. So that may be, you know, different. And that's also an argument you want to keep in mind when making that decision because from my guess and, and I'm just telling you this from what I've seen in the past if Tesla decides to you know basically offer FSD to anyone who pays for it uh, like you know wide access I guess you could say then my guess is that means that the the software is so good that they're ready to give it to everyone then they're probably gonna charge more so, you know, right now it's $15,000. That means it's gone up 50% in just 2022 because on December 31st, 2021 or January 1st, 2021, the price of FSD was $10,000. And I'm pretty sure it was like $7,000 or $8,000 before that. Um, but yeah, so who knows? It went up to 15 now fifteen thousand dollars like I, I've already seen it jump from 10 to 12 to 15 so who knows price of the cars my guess will come down eventually but I don't think that the price of FSD will ever come down my guess is when the Cybertruck comes out it's gonna be available with full self-driving right out the gates so like I assume Tesla is going to probably try to offer these two things at the same time. Um, so yeah, we can imagine late, you know, I don't know, realistically, I would say 2023 to 2024, I feel like sounds a little bit more realistic, but who knows? Things might be going into production now and who knows? Anyways, when it comes to enhanced autopilot, what do you get? you get navigate on autopilot look i have fsd and i'm on the highway from for like you know more than half of this commute and it's going to be running navigate on autopilot no different version of navigate on autopilot than it would with um anyone who purchased the six thousand dollar version upgrade you know i hope you're following here so what else comes with it? You get Navigate on Autopilot for 6000 You also get Smart Summon. Smart Summon is a pretty awesome feature. It basically allows you to uh, use a little GPS map through the Tesla app and select pinpoints on where you want the car to go. And, uh, you know, it only works in, like, basically parking lots. 
and like neighborhoods, which is really cool. Um, I use Summon all the time. It's so much fun. It is the coolest thing to like pull out on people too because it's truly autonomous. You know, like there's no one in the in the driver's seat, and, and you can have a lot of fun with with that. So yeah, you get Smart Summon. You get you get navigate on autopilot, and you also get my favorite feature of all time. Like I, this feature is going to take me years to get over, and it's auto park. And I see that people are so mixed about auto park, but let me tell you, it's not a matter of if I can park or not. It's I've been driving for so long that I just want the computer to park for me at this point. Like I'm still not over the fact that the car can park itself because there's times now where I've already had successful zero intervention drives where I'm basically driving, you know, f starting from the park position, putting on FSD and then getting to my destination and then being able to auto park as soon as I reach there. That's what I call a full zero intervention drive um, all the way down to the park. But um, when it comes to enhanced autopilot, you're not gonna get that full feature. You know, I I'll be honest, I, ha I haven't seen autopilot in like a year because I know it has improved Someone comment below if autopilot can make right and left turns yet because from my um, findings it basically only follows the road. So for example if you're heading down a highway autopilot will drive for you and um, you know it just won't make a right or a left. It doesn't take off off ramps or get onto the highway. But it does follow the road and it does it quite well. Um, so basically you're expected to like, you know, here for example in three miles next turn, that, that would be up to you, you know. You need to switch over in the right lane and... Oh yeah, speaking of lane switch too on the highway, also available with Enhanced Autopilot. Um, you know, that's a really cool feature um, because I think it kind of doesn't make sense to disengage and then re-engage you know, just to lane switch. It's just nice to have autopilot do it for you. I will say though, this is one of the most um, patient that you have to be with it. it. Like it'll do it for you, but like you might, um, like it'll only go if it's like fully clear. Like for example, like if you're driving, you'll probably change lanes before the computer will. The computer will like only go when it's like, you know, more than enough space for example like if you're driving and you just make that decision to change lanes because you know for a fact that you can fit the car is not going to make that same type of move you know it's only going to go so if, if you like to like you know weave in and out of traffic um i don't know I, maybe that's not the best purpose for it but as you can see the way autopilot works in traffic it really, you know, opens you up for a lot of things in the car. <coughs> Excuse me, in the cars, you know, as far as like eating and drinking or <clears throat> that's probably it. I would not recommend, do not use your phone. You're going to get strikes on FSD. You probably get strikes for eating too, but if you're eating something light, you know, it's, it's a lot easier. <clears throat> like a sandwich or you know having a coffee is way easier to drink while on you know autopilot so definitely um so i want to thank everyone for watching this video i hope you guys learned something about you know autopilot fsd navigate on autopilot and smart summon and auto park and really what you get for the 6,000 and what you get for the 15,000 and who knows they might increase the price of enhanced autopilot too one day because honestly they're including a lot in there you know um, other than FSD pretty much you get it all uh, so yeah thank you guys again for watching this video hit that like button if you enjoyed the video um, and uh, subscribe for more 
Tesla content, FSD beta content, obviously when I'm not on the highway. Um, and yeah, I'm taking you know videos on request to drop a comment below. Let me know what you think and uh, if you're looking forward to seeing anything specific. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope everyone watching this has a wonderful day.